Hi, today I'll be showing you how to draw a simple way to draw a house. So the first thing you want to do is draw a square. Just draw a simple square, quite big. You can use a ruler, but you don't have to. I mean, if you want your house to be totally perfect, you can. But you can also just draw it without it. Okay, so the next thing is you want to draw a 3D like square. So we're just going to go out from the side and also from this side and just go down. Make your mark. Remember that one. And just do the top. Okay. Um. So the next thing you want to do is you want to draw some doors and windows. So the door is going to be around here, and I'm going to circle my door instead of a square one, because everybody uses your square ones. But this time I'm just going to do a circled one. I mean, you can make it square if you want. There we are, there's our handle. And then I'm going to draw some windows. So, I'm just going to come across here, here, and circle the top. And do the same on the other side. So, you have your line going up. Make sure it matches, because <laughs> on a house, they usually do match. So you want to make sure that matches. Like that. And then we also want to do some windows upstairs because they usually use it upstairs in the house. Well, this is a big house. They're just about the same length and everything. Maybe this one's slightly bigger. There we are. And you do the same for this one. There we are. Okay, so there's our windows. So to detail them a little bit more, we'll just add a line going across. And you're just going to double that line. And then you just do another line and another line. Like that. And then you're going to do the same here, here, and here. So let's get going then. Do the line in between, or in the middle of your windows, like so. And then you're just going to do the ones across. And then on top again for the last one. There we are. And now you want to do the roof. And the roof can be simple and all you have to do is draw a line going up straight up like this you can use a ruler remember if you want to I'm gonna do my camera a little bit for you guys to see and then you're gonna do a line going down and then you're also gonna do another line here and you can sneakily do one here. There we are. Now you can rub off this line. This line. And there we are. To make your house neater. Then if you want to, because most houses do have chimneys, you can add the chimney. So you just add it across. Because everything's 3D, you want to keep to the 3D sort of look. So I'm just going to make it 3D. You don't have to if you don't want to, but I'm doing it. So you can just roll off them lines. And you can add some smoke. So you just do some threes. There we have it. So the next part is, this is the house. And I'm going to just add a garage to it because I thought it might be fun to add a little bit of 
detailed do it. So we're just gonna do the same sort of height. We don't want your gauge to be too short but not too long. So we're just gonna do it the side of the windows ish. Here's one side of the square. They all kinda like squares in it when you're doing houses. So you're just gonna do that then. So you just go across and just go down, just like you're doing the first square. Remember the square pattern? That's all you have to remember with houses is it just shapes basically most of the time. And there's the garage. So we rub off these lines and we create a roof. The smaller roof than the house because it is smaller. And we rub off the lines. Okay, so then we want to do the garage door. And you can do the garage door open if you like, but this one, this time I'm just going to do it closed. And you're just going to add some lines across. And you can do these as a ruler again. Or you can do them by hand. There we are, just continue going across. And there's your garage. So, there's your house and the garage. Now I'm just going to add some little details like a garden and a gate. So, the first thing I'm going to do is just add a line. Another line here. Because they usually are some, like a little path of the car. You can draw a car on here, but this time I'm just going to leave the car in the garage. But if you do want a, a car and you don't know how to draw it, just put in the comment section that you want me to draw a car and I'll draw it for you. So this is our path. There we are. It doesn't have to be like perfect because paths aren't always perfect. And from this corner we're just going to add a line going down like this. And then you're just going to go across and stop here. Here's where the car parks in and usually you have like a gate or something because if it's just a gate going across then I mean the car wouldn't be able to get in and it won't be able to get in by the small gate so we're going to draw a larger gate here. So it's going to be kind of roundish, the gate big and round and it can go down this is where it opens and just sh make sure you show that it's a gate you don't want them to go well what's that you want to make sure that it looks like a gate so just make sure you colour in some little bits and then you just do another one here another line there we are and then right here you just do some little things here just where people can open them as well and then you continue with your line all across your page there we are and there's your gate but now we're going to add a little more detail to the gate so we're just going to add some lines And just draw lots of lines, just like you did for the windows, really. But I'm gonna do them going up like this. And then you do it on this side. And then you continue doing that all across your page. Almost finished. There we are. And I'm just going to add a little more thick on top to make sure that the gate looks 
really nice. All across again, another line. But not at the bottom. And then afterwards, we are just going to do the same for the gates. And you're going to add a line coming from here, in between. And then another line coming here, and then from the side. And then you just add some lines because your gate is usually identical to your, I um, mean your door gate is usually identical to your um, gate. There. So there we are. Um, but I did forget to draw another little door right here. So, well a gate door. So I'm just going to rub that off and do it right here. So we're going to make sure it looks like a gate again, going across, and just make it like a roundy gate, just like that. And for the gates I like to add another layer of the circle around. And then just add like a little handle. There we are. So the next thing is adding some more detail and I'm just going to add the detail such as adding some plants or flowers right next to the house. I mean you don't have to do this if you don't want to. It's up to you what you want outside the house. There we are. And then just add, all you have to do is a circle like that for your flowers. And it just looks like roses. So we're going to do that then. I just add loads, just like that. And it just looks nice then. So we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Because usually you do have two. Oh, so you just have one sometimes. I don't know. And then you're just gonna do the little squiggly thing. It just looks really nice, I find. Okay, so now I thought maybe we can add another window on the side of the house because sometimes you maybe have two windows in your house. I'm not sure. So to guide you, you just do it square first. And then you cut it a little bit to make it round. And then now you just add your lines for your window. It's from the side, so we've got to make it all sideways. And in my bedroom, I've got curtains, so I'm going to add curtains to the house. going across like this and you have some pretty curtains now and you just do the same on the top windows and then on this one because this is upstairs as well and then sometimes you do have them downstairs but that's up to you um and there we are so on the windows, I'm just going to add a little more detail, I'm going to zoom in a little bit on this one, and for the glass I'm just turning some little lines, because it's glass so you want to make sure that it's nice, just a couple of lines to make it look like glass. Now I'm just doing this house in pencil, but you can put colour to it if you like. And yeah. So the last thing I'm going to do is just add a mailbox. Because it's kind of cool to add one I think. Just right here. Coming onto the gate. And there's your mail. And I'm just going to colour it in. There we are. 
So there's your mailbox. Kind <laughs> of looks slightly thin. Gonna make it slightly bigger. There we are. So there we are. You can add some street lights because you're in a street maybe, or just things like that. It's up to you. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and stay tuned for more videos. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you want me to draw any more buildings, houses, just put it in the comment section. Thank you. Bye.